What's up, guys? Average Kiwi Guy here. How y'all doing? So, it's been a while since I've done a Kiwi Plays. I kind of wanted to get it back into it. I wanted to, you know, do some gaming stuff. And I figured what better to, what better way to start with than Gigantic. You know, this is a game that's been coming out for a while now. I, I think I can remember hearing about Gigantic about two, maybe three years ago. It was... It's been, been a while. I think it's had some problems along the way, but it, it finally came out. And when I first heard about it, everyone I was hearing from and everyone was saying like, Oh yeah, this is just another MOBA. It's just another MOBA coming out. Oh yeah, that's that's cool. That's awesome. Guys, this ain't a MOBA. This ain't a MOBA because I hate to tell you all this. I hate MOBAs. <laughs> I hate MOBAs. I am just, I am garbage at them and I know it and I stay away from them because yeah, I'm just, I'm just not good at them. And I know it and yeah, I, I'm not going to waste people's time. So, for me, like, I, when I saw this game, and I started seeing some gameplay from it, I'm, like, looking at it, and I'm saying, this ain't no MOBA. This ain't Mo MOBA. What I would say that this game really reminds me of, and I know a lot of you guys will probably cringe at this and go, oh my god, really? This, for me, feels like a better Battleborn. I know. I know the, the, like, the death sentence of Battleborn. No, this game has definitely not got that. I think it was... It's far enough away from Overwatch to not get crushed by them, so... <laughs> it's... Poor old Battleborn. There's a whole many reasons that game went down, but we won't go into that. But yeah, this for me, this is definitely like a better version of Battleborn. Or even a, a mix of Battleborn and Paladins and stuff like that. It's got that feel to it. And I think the art style on top makes it really nice. It, uh... The, the maps are beautiful. It has some really, really cool stuff about it. And the mode itself. And I will say that there is only one mode in this game. Which they will have to work on. Because, you know, one mode can only go so far. You, you do need to, you know, throw some other things in there from time to time. So, and I'm sure they're working on that. So, the big thing about this game is, is it's free to play. It's free to play. You can go and buy this, um, download this on steam you don't have to buy it you can go and download this on steam you don't have to you know pay anything and the, the way they want to make money the way they're getting your money is that they want you buying heroes okay they want you buying heroes they want you buying skins and they also you can buy creatures and their skins and stuff like that and we'll get into creatures in a bit basically you don't have to do that though there is a ways of getting your heroes without spending any money. Um, and what happens is you you have a free rotation. So there's a free five hero rotation that happens for all week. So it's a weekly thing. So at the moment, Paku, Mozu, Taito, uh, Uncle Sven, and Xenobia is the free ones right now. So that's pretty good. Uh, nice little you know span of everyone. You know, you know, span of uh, characters there. Uh, and rolls and stuff like that so very nice very good or you can buy them with in-game currency now the in-game currency you do generate reasonably fast i mean i think that took me i bought a 10,000 that dropped me pretty much 20 i've played maybe three games and i'm already back to f just over 1500 so that's not too bad it's not too bad and that's with two wins and a loss i think so it's not bad uh, the, you can get them easily with in-game currency, or you buy them with the rubies. So you get 600 rubies to buy trip, um, and the rubies are the stuff that you buy in the shop, right here. Boom, and this is what you pay. So yeah, it, it can you basically it's about five bucks a hero. It's about five bucks a hero if you want if you want to buy, buy it that way. So yeah, or you can buy these starter packs. Uh, there's two dif there's two different ones. There's a starter pack which is $9.99 and that gives you eight heroes. So that's not too bad. I got this one. I think this is a nice little like if you get into this game and you like it and you think you're gonna stick around for a while, this is a nice little pack to get you going. I, I like this. It's it, it got me pretty, it got me sorted pretty well. I think it gave it gave me all these guys. It gave me these three. It gave me HK, um, Charnock, Taito, Uncle Sven, uh, and Xenobia. So it was a nice, they're a nice little group that will give you plenty of uh, playability and stuff like that. 
and it, it allows you to generate you know money for the ones that you don't have and um yeah it's it's nice it's nice uh it's a nice little 9.99 like especially if you want if you want to get into this game for a little bit or you can pay 30 bucks you can pay 30 bucks and that will get you uh all the heroes for life so that means any new ones that come out you get them for free like they they'll, they'll just get given to you so that's not bad that ain't bad you get some skins you get like 200 rubies i think you get like a friend code as well so that ain't too bad oh and the starter pack you get a skin and you get some rubies and i think you get some boosts and stuff and the same with the, the ultimate pack so it all depends on how how you big you want to go into this game it really is you know like, do you want to spend no money then you just go roll with the rotation stuff earn your money up and find your favorite hero that's that's really the way that that happens or if you want to spend a little bit of money the 9.99 pack's a, a good option and then if you really want to get into this game you don't mind throwing out 30 bucks that's there too so yeah so for me you know gigantic is definitely a cool little thing i love the the look of the heroes the heroes have some really unique looking um you know sort of art style and the way they look and the way they sound like paku's voice actor is adorable it's got he's got some really cool little lines there are some that do look and act very similar to certain characters of a certain very popular game yes 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 um i know full well what hk does and what he is so yeah but yeah there's some very cool like very interesting cat cool looking characters that have different uh sort of roles you know some are very tanky some are ass assassins some are healers you know some are ranged you know there are some very cool um different things that you you know diff very different characters that you can do and i love the look of them i love the look of them they they have some very cool things uh cool looks to them and also a little thing on top here is the fortune cards basically these are like goals these are like um sort of like a grind to an achievement thing and it gives you um money it gives you money it gives you experience stuff like that there's also uh rarities on the cards that you pull and these cards are done from a draw you get a daily free draw so you just you know you come into the game click on the daily draw you'll get a get, you'll get a new one so the, the draws happen like this you get some new ones so this guy's a rare so it's a warden i have to earn 50 badges as voden or here i have to deal 700 7500 damage and total damage with Wu, uh or win three matches so that's not too bad and each one has a difference in how much uh experience and how much money it gives you so yeah it's it's just a little like it's a little um sort of goal thing that you can get and it gives you extra stuff up here and gives you extra xp and stuff so it's not too bad it's not too bad so it's something extra on top but you guys you guys want to know what goes on in the game you guys want to see what this is what how it plays and stuff like that like i said one mode one mode there is a bot match but you play the exact same mode um and yeah it's it's a very very uh interesting mode which i like i like it a lot so it's your basic sort of hero abilities and all the rest of it you have your own hero you have abilities each one does their own thing and stuff like that uh you have an hp bar and you also have a stamina bar and trust me you want to keep it on that stamina bar because you have a sprint that can get you in and out of uh trouble and if you run out of stamina you ain't running and that stamina gets burnt down by running and doing different things so it's definitely something you got to keep an eye on and i get in trouble with that a lot a lot i ain't all that good at this game okay <laughs> i ain't all good at this game i'd never say i'm good at it i have my good games i have my bad games i'm average at best that's why it's in the name but the way this mode works is it goes in two phases there is a phase called clash and there's a phase called rampage and depending on how you do in clash depends on what happens in rampage so as you start out you summon creatures at these points that they're all around the map you get there are three that are yours that's on your ones and there's also neutral sites that you got to go for as well so you really want to get your three guys down then also have your one on a neutral and these you by taking these points you summon creatures and these creatures all do different things 
So the basic ones you start off with is there's a little sapling guy. Um, he can heal. He's the healer, healer one, and he's very handy. And you'll trust me, you'll you'll love having him around. Um, uh, and you can also. And there's also uh, a Chimera guy. This guy, he's uh, more DPS, more attack. He can see, you know, enemies and stuff like that. He's good for defending probably like cross points and stuff, you know, where a lot of enemies might walk through and stuff. And there's also a defensive type, which is the little Cyclops dude. He puts up walls and through the main entries into the point. And the, but it's, he's more defensive, he's got a little more HP, he's a little more tanky, so if you've got a point that you really want to hold, and you don't need that healing, Cyclops is a good one to do. Now, I'm not the guy that knows exactly what to put on each point. Each, in every different game, I've seen different ways. A lot of people like using the Cyclops on highly contested points. Some like using Healer. Some like using... Yeah, it, it's, it's a total, like, really, like, what your team is all about. If you're a very newbie team, you definitely want to have the Healer around. But be warned, you only get so many summons of this per uh per player so you don't want to be summoning a whole bunch of healers all over the place and suddenly when you get near the end game you got nothing to summon so you got to be careful what you summon and where where it is and how contested it's going to be so what these guys do is they collect energy and this is what happens through the clash is as you're fighting your minion these creatures collect energy and also as you kill the enemy opponent that gains energy for your big guardian dude so the big guardians either the griffin or the dragon that you come in on that depending on what team you're on you're collecting energy for them and so you get 10 per en uh, enemy kill you also if you if your creatures uh stays alive long enough and collects enough energy he get that's 20 and also if you kill an enemy uh creature that's 20 as well so you really got to be careful and not you know feeding not throwing away your lives you know you, you got to be careful of what you're doing i'm probably not the best person to be watching for that i'm i can get myself into a lot of trouble but you know it's something you got to think about and there also, you can manually collect um, energy from points that don't have uh, creatures on them. You can even also manually uh, collect um, from points that the creatures haven't collected it yet. So it's not it's not too bad. Uh, just be fair warned, as you're summoning or as you're collecting, you are in a... Uh, um, you can't attack, you can't defend, you can't do anything. You're completely vulnerable. So, yeah. So, different... Different heroes have different uh, things, like some are more mobile, some are more assassins, some are more tanky, some are, there is also healers. There are some out there that look very similar to certain characters in other games that we have seen. Um, I, I, you know, obviously HK is very Bastion-like. He does have some, you know, differences that I must say, you know, definitely, you know, separate him from Bastion. He's definitely not as... Uh, quick and nimble and you can't go down into your uh, thing uh, into your deploy mode so easily as what Bastion can um, he also has the ability to be very tanky and stuff so that's not too bad and as you go through the match you start leveling up and you level up you gain uh, you know effects on your uh, on your abilities on each different thing so you can do the quick, the suggested one, which is you just hold down one and you do it. So if you know that that's the one you want, just hold down one and that, that will apply it. But if you want to go through and check them all, you got to push control, you got to go through it. This is the clunky part of the game. This is where you it slows down and you got to find a moment to kind of like, okay, I got to pick this. Da, 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 okay, yep, yep. It, it's very clunky in that way and I don't like it too much. I would rather have a quick... Kind of likes of what Heroes of the Storm does, which is very quick. Even the likes of um, League of Legends and things like that. Just something quick that I can just click. Oh, yep, that's what I want. Boom, go. Oh, that's what I want. Boom, go. And it's fast and I can keep moving and I can keep attacking or I can keep defending. 
that's probably something they're going to have to work on. It's definitely a very clunky uh, mechanic in this game. But as you're going through, you start, you know, getting different abilities. You can also, uh, what happens is it's kind of like a fork in the road. And the, depending on what you do, with an example with Paco, he has a, a sort of a, an escape. He's a, sort of a slide that, that um, comes out that he does, which is a good, good to escape and stuff like that. You can turn that into a heal, where he will, he will uh, slide and heal as he goes away, so it creates, it makes a good escape. Or you can turn it into a kind of a roll, which is good for initiating uh, damage, a good uh, distance closer. So you, he'll start rolling and smash into the guy that he's, get guy you attack, and boom, that's where you go, and he puts freezes down. So depending on what you pick, generally at the first pick of the uh, of that ability, you can go in many different ways. You can go in many different ways and all the things. Guaranteed, there are builds online if you want to get you know pinpoint things. I, I pick what I what I like. So I pick you know like oh it looks kind of cool. I'm that way. I don't need to be like freaking top top tier dude guy person. It's just not who I am. I'd rather just pick something that looks cool or gives me more health because I'm generally getting shot more and stuff like that. Uh, that's generally what I, what I do. Um, and yeah, so those ability those abilities are definitely something you got to keep an eye on. Definitely, you know, really get on that. So right in the middle of all your bars, your health bar and stuff like that, you'll see this sort of golden uh, sort of thing in the middle. That's your focus. So this is this is your alt. This is your alt, right? And each alt's different, and they do different things and stuff, and some alts are good, uh, you know, like Margraves is a big explosion, it knocks everyone up, and it's a bit of a stun and stuff, and he can gain armor from it. It's a, it's a good way to turn the tides on something. I, I really enjoy Margraves ult. Where then you get some like Paco, who turns everyone into snowmen. Um, there's also ones that are big damage dealers, or big healing. But the interesting thing about this is that the alt bar doesn't stop. So you don't have to keep using it. You can keep gaining that alt bar and it gains levels in what it does. So you gain more powerful alts as you do it. So, but that's also not the only way you use it. You can also use that focus to upgrade your actual creatures and make them more powerful. You make them stronger and harder to beat. And also they heal better or they attack better or they defend better it's definitely you know you got to weigh up like where you are in the game what you need what you you know what your alt is like is your alt worth it to the team like is it something that the team really needs and is it something that you need or else then you go and spin that alt charge on another creature so that that's that's cool i like that i like how you can choose how you help the team with your alts it's it's good i like that so they did some funky things with alts i like it then yeah so this is all in the clash this is all in the clash stage this is where all the main fighting happens and everything like that so if with the clash stage it's the first to 100 energy so once you get to 100 energy and your the other team hasn't hit it you'll enter the rampage stage and what happens is your big guardian will go and attack their other guardian and try and pin them down. So this is where the bars on top come in, where you have health, the, the sort of the three hearts and then a bit of a health bar for each one, kind of like a fighting game type style up the top there. And as when the initial hit comes down from your from your guardian to theirs, he does a certain amount of damage, they do a certain amount of damage. And then it's up to you to do the rest. He'll expose a weak point and you got to go on and do the rest. Now, there's also something that happens when you're defending. So, say you lost and you're defending. Every time you kill someone from the enemy team, your guardian gains shields. So, it's very important to, one, also, one protect your guardian. So, there's body blocking and stuff like that. You know, especially if you're a big tank, you go on body block. Or... Also, your your DPS and your assassins and even your tanks and stuff, they need to be out there killing the others too because that gains them shields. Now, those shields become even more important when your enemy, when your guardian or, uh, or the enemy's guardian is within a sort of inst the sort of instant wound phase where the 
the initial hit is going to do enough to wound that to take a uh take a heart off that um that bar so it's that's called a wound and what happens is that's going to be an instant thing you can't stop that you can't do it so that's when you go and do something else like you go you either keep defending what you're doing or you go off and you attack another point you got to keep aware on what that happens because you could roll up to that guardian the guardian's going to get hit anyway and then suddenly you get swamped by everyone you got to be very sure on what you're doing and making sure you're not throwing your life away and giving the uh the enemy guardian an another chance so the two sides of it the defending and the attacking is very very interesting you got to know the time you know when when's the time to throw my life away and just go roar at it and just start swinging and just get that damage down and hope that you get it or you uh you got another time to kind of sit back and maybe just let the initial hit happen sit back and then you know go again you know just don't throw your lives away that's the big thing in this game is about not throwing your lives away uh it doesn't just feed the enemy now it actually starts going against um you know it makes your job a lot harder it makes your job a heck of a lot harder so you will go through first of all you go through two two rampages like this so if you get your your uh you get the enemy down to one heart the enemy guardian down to one heart that's when we move into the final clash and something very interesting happens here this is when the actual the actual map moves it mo moves and you know it changes and all the rest of it and on certain maps you can get lost very very e easily i've gotten lost on these maps sometimes it it's crazy when it first happens because you'll you get so used to where your points are through like three quarters of the match then suddenly you're in a completely different area that looks com all completely different and your points are all in different places and suddenly you know the one the one creature that you got down is suddenly not useful to where you are because that's where it's moved so it's it's very tricky in that way um and it's a nice little feature because it changes up the game and it, you know it can rattle people and get people lost and that's where you can maybe pick off some people so when you enter that final clash this is when basically you lose that heart if you're if that's your guardian or if you you know if they can if you can get that heart if you're the uh, attacking that's when you're gonna win the game so this is this is this is crunch time this is crunch time so i like that whole change up the map thing it's very interesting and by the way the maps are beautiful in this i really love it so yeah that's really the mode it's all about those clashes and then really the results the rampage and what you do with that rampage is really up to the way your team's going and if you a, a big thing i would say is stick with your team don't go off lone ranging unless you're very confident in your abilities and very confident in your escapes um sometimes the odd push into it you know if an enemy is very much attacking you on one point that means one of their points is exposed and if you can hold them and one guy zips off and tries to kill another that might pull some people away causing some stuff you know that that that's a good thing too but if you when you are new i would suggest sticking with your team don't go off by yourself um watch when you go dive you know you sort of dive in especially if you're in melee watch your dives and you know going after opponents like i have been caught many times trying to go after a very low enemy that i've gotten down and i end up getting killed myself so it's definitely something you have to watch um animation quality wise this this is, is beautiful i like it there are still some glitches there are still some things where you know you swear you hit your hit your ability but it didn't go off like i don't know if that's a net code thing or not also the clutter on the screen can get a little bit much sometimes depending on who's doing what like especially like margrave is a big explosion and then you can have some other explosions going on the third person helps with that that's where i feel like it has that advantage over battleborn where battleborn was just a clusterfuck of everything this doesn't have as much but it can get that way so if you are very much like i don't like clutter on my and my games well you may this may this may get you um but overall i mean the gameplay wise i love it it's really really good i i, I think it's it's really fun you feel like you can keep playing you know 
quite a quite a while and for you know you keep you know it may be the same mode but you get some really close games where it's like tit for tat like you just like they get one you get one you get they get one you get one and it's just punch 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 and it's the last person who gets that last hit that gets it that's that's some really cool things and you know it's it's you know it's got that it does have an overwatch feel but it's definitely not overwatch if you get my meaning i think the mode helps change that up a lot um definitely very battleborn like definitely i would say even paladins like if, if you want to say but probably a better versions than them and i i i've been thoroughly enjoying my time with this i think it's well worth uh checking it out especially since it's free i mean come on it's free to play you don't have to spend any money jump in have a look see what you like if you don't like it you uninstall it no nothing lost nothing lost if you like it then you can consider paying or doing whatever you like but you don't even have to do that. You can just go and use the in-game currency, play a heck of a ton, and then get your favorite character. So it's it's nice. It's nice in that way. I like it a lot. So yeah, guys, gigantic. I think well worth your time. And it's free. It's free. You know, it's a game like if you have nothing to play right now and you're trying to think like, man, I really wish I had something to play and I kind of want to do a multiplayer thing. Gigantic is sitting there. It's really good. There are a ton of streams on at the moment. A ton of big streamers are doing it uh well worth uh going and checking out and seeing and you know giving it a go give it a go it's 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 fun it's fun and i think that's the big thing you know that's a big thing with video games is like it's gotta be fun right it's gotta be fun or else there's not no point in doing it but yeah all right guys that's it for us thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you next time peace